I love my gadgets. My iPhone ranks among the top of my list of favorites. I use it for talking and texting, but far more often I'm using it for checking my email, making my grocery list, getting directions, maybe playing a game, or even taking photos and editing them, then posting them on Facebook or Instagram. Many of you have asked me what apps I use for all of those things. So let's take a look at some of the things that I use most often on my phone. I've got the standard Apple apps on here, like the calendar and reminders. I use these two to organize my life. I'm outside a lot, so I have not one, but two weather apps. And then I have a folder called navigation. I have a couple of maps apps in here, Apple Maps and Google Maps, I use them both. I also have the compass and a couple of restaurant finders, Uber, UPS helps me track shipments, and I use Motion X to track me and to even download maps sometimes. This is a great app for hiking or exploring because you can download pretty detailed maps ahead of time and keep track of yourself even when you're offline. I have a few games and other fun stuff here and my music. I have used Rhapsody as subscription music service for years. I also have a read and learn folder where I have iBooks, Kindle, and Audible for books. And I have some other things here for my accounts and for shopping. My grocery list app gets quite a bit of action and I play chess and I like to use the emojis in the Star Wars app. But let's get to my work stuff. In my productivity folder, I have my Snapchat stuff, mostly Snapchat anyway. I use this Facebook pages app to manage my Snapchat Facebook page and the Instagram app. Here's YouTube and YouTube studio app for creators. For filming my videos, I use the Prompt Remote app when I need notes while filming and the Rode Recorder app for use with my SmartLav microphone. Uh, I have Dropbox for transferring files to others and I have Chrome Remote Desktop, which is my current favorite way to remote into my computers from my phone. I've used different apps for this, but right now this is the one that I like the most. And last on this page, I have the Nikon Manual Viewer app. I really like this app because if someone asks me a question about a Nikon camera when I'm not sitting at my computer, I can actually download the manual here, check it out, and then the manual stays in here. On the second page of the app, I have numbers and pages, and I use both of those occasionally. I've toyed with using Amazon Photo, which is a cloud storage app, and OneDrive is a cloud storage app also. Trunk Notes is a note-taking app, which you can sync with other devices using Dropbox. I don't use this often right now, but I keep some information in there that I need to access remotely on occasion. And then on the third page, I have a couple of apps that go with devices. Some remote desktop apps, apps also that I've used in the past, and some other apps that I've used at one time or another. One that I want to mention here is Transfer. It is great for transferring photos and video from your phone or your tablet to your computer. I use AirDrop now, which is built into my phone and my Mac, but this one is great if you don't use Mac. And now for the photography stuff. I use the standard camera most of the time, so it's outside of the folders already for me, as is the Photos app. But I do have a photography folder, and in it I have iMovie, which I use occasionally for movie editing. Uh, usually my vlogs, and Field Tools is a cool app that tells you what your depth of field will be in different situations. 360 is an app where you can create big 360 degree panoramas that are interactive. It's really cool to play with. Snapseed is my favorite app for photo editing in my phone. It has lots of flexibility. I also have Camera Plus, which is a very popular photo taking app. You have more control in this app than you do with Apple's camera app, like options for manual focus and other manual settings. Canon print is so that I can wirelessly print to my little Canon photo printer. I also have Photoshop Express here, and you can hook this up with Adobe Creative Cloud and access your photos for editing. I have a couple of fun apps here too. I have Comic Book, it's for creating comic book type pages, and PhotoGrid makes photo grids. <laughs> On my second page, I have the Nikon app for use with the cameras that have wireless capabilities. And the iFi app is also for wireless use, but with the iFi card. And I have GarageBand for sound. And these last two are for use with action cams. The Verb app is for use with the Garmin Verb action camera. And the Wi-Fi camera app is for use with my King Cool action cam. You may have noticed that sometimes I have more than one app that 
serves the same purpose. Like I have three cloud storage apps, a few remote desktop apps, and several photo editing apps. There are a few reasons for this. Number one, I love photography and I love gadgets and I like to mix it up. I'm also Snapchick though, so my job is to check things out for you guys and to be able to answer questions. That's it. I use my phone every day for all sorts of things. In fact, I got the big iPhone 6 Plus because I do use it so much for things other than talking on the phone. The big screen comes in handy for me. I also made sure to get a lot of capacity so that I could hold all of those apps and photos and videos that I want. If you have any questions on any of the apps that I use, or if there are any that you particularly like that you think I should try out, let me know in the comments.